Hello everybody. Today we're going to work on the rudder slash brake pedals. So I've connected the center fuselage to the tail section and installed all the auxiliary longer ones and bulkheads in the forward part. So now it's time to start working on the rudder and brake pedals. I was starting with the aluminum angle and then I was measuring it and I thought, oh crap, I got the wrong thickness. So I got the wrong uh, aluminum angle. You have to be very careful with that or else you do it wrong. I did it wrong anyway because I ordered a second um, brake rudder pedal set for the right side of the cockpit. And then it turned out the aluminum angles for that second one are actually in the bag. So you don't have to uh, you don't have to saw that many off because they're in the bag. So that was stupid because uh, well I can reuse that angles, but it's uh, yeah it's just a waste of material. I try to keep the the longer the sets the, the better it is because then you can still use them. But anyway, so we have to make the pedals yourself. So the plates are there and they are pre-drilled but you still need to make the angles and the bracket that actually actuates the the brake cylinder. I have to make four of them. Well, you need to make two of them if you only take a left side, a pilot side brake set. But since I want a full dual set, I need to make four of them. And uh, again, you have to look very carefully on the drawings and also you have to think about where the minimal type of play is between the um, the parts. So sometimes you see me use a, a clamp so that uh, there is minimal uh, space between uh, the parts and it's a really nice tight construction. I thought it would go much faster but actually it took me, a, I think, a complete day, probably five hours to work on these things. Again, I'm, I'm an amateur, so uh, yeah, I have to think every time I do stuff. And also I like, you see me sometimes run to the grind the grinder, I really like the stuff to be smooth and nice. So I take some extra work in that. So there are a lot of holes that need to be drilled and they need to be on the accurate side. So you have to be, uh, yeah, accurate in those things. Okay, here is the, the rudder pedal slash brake pedal uh, attachments. They need to be installed into the front of the plane and uh, I was almost out of copper color clicos because they're also in the plane as you can see. So I had to do some, uh, I sometimes borrow some uh, clicos from the plane in order to make the construction uh, complete. Here you can see me work on the grinder to make all the edges smooth. Um, yeah, there's a different camera angle and now you can see I can do uh, yeah, all the assembly part. So the last pieces need to be drilled. I'm not going to rivet it today because it needs all to be cleaned up and then uh, primed. So there will be a lot of stuff being primed shortly because there are a lot of parts I created. I didn't rivet maybe for a month I guess because there was so much parts I needed to create. But then in a few days, I can probably, uh, yeah, do four days of riveting. So that's also nice. Again, I use two type of drills. So here is the longer official, let's say, drill. And now you see I have a smaller drill in there. So if I need to make initial holes, I use a smaller drill. And then when, just for 
match drilling, I use the, the official one. So here I'm figuring out which nuts should go where. Actually, I think I I don't have the correct nuts because there should they say you have to install five A's. Um, but actually, in the second bag for the right side, there were also four A's. And actually, on one side you have more uh, more distance to cover than the other one because uh, yeah, it's a, it's only a one single angle. So you need actually five and four A together. But in the official set, the kit, there's only a five A. And I'm I'm not willing to use extra washers, which you can do probably, but I won't. So I will order some extra 4As when I order the next kit and then remove the the 5As that I use, use now, temporary. So you have to install the brick cylinders yourself. And um, I, I, I'm not sure yet. I, I was trying to figure out how they should be, the, the hole that you need to drill through the, um, the pedal and the brake cylinder. But it didn't really feel right, so I didn't drill the hole yet. Uh, I'm going to visit a fellow RV8 owner, or RV7 owner, and um, I'm going to take some pictures there because I'm not sure, man. It's it's it doesn't it doesn't feel good. I know, of course, that because there are there's a left and a right one, and they have different angles, right? You can actually see it here. This is how the way how it's installed. And you can see the the the, the left one is coming from. Is a little bit forward and the right one is a little bit uh, backward so there need to be different angles anyway but i'm not sure how i should drill that so uh, i'm going to first take some pictures because i'm afraid i would i will screw it up all the way so i can install most of the stuff although i need to prime it as i said earlier but i will have to uh yeah remove it later again because I couldn't find all the right parts. And I'm I'm sure they're not in there because I checked. So Vance probably wants you to use a, a 5A, but that's also strange because there's no no safety wiring through that. Well anyway, I'll figure it out. Next time, continuing building my pie in the sky. <laughs>